It's buried deep inside me, but I feel there's something you should know So today I'm doing something that was really, really heavily asked for by both my followers, subscribers and me. So today I'm going to be reviewing my boyfriend's Nissan Silvia S15 Spec R. It's something that I've wanted to do ever since he bought the car. If you go back and watch my video where we went and picked it up, um, I just instantly fell in love with it and I... I had to drive it so I really really wanted to do this review and it's been almost I'd say about a month and a half since he picked up the car maybe a little bit less than that actually maybe just about a month um, since he's picked up the car and only now on the 9th of January am I reviewing it okay guys so what I'll do first is I'll take you around the car and show you what it looks like and what modifications have been done to it So it's on HSD coilovers. Buddy Club P1 wheels. There's also some really nice plate spikes with some registrations. Okay, so inside. Apparently these seats are quite rare. A guy, after Elliot first bought it, a guy who actually follows me on YouTube um, told us that they were quite rare seats apparently. So um, yeah, this is what he's got in there. pretty much standard everything in here so yeah the whole interior is pretty much standard um, but I think Elliot kind of wants to keep it this way like I said the seats are apparently quite rare so I think he's gonna keep those in for now but other than that I absolutely love the interior of the s15 so I'm quite used to basic -y interior anyway obviously because I have a Fabio and everything um, the only thing that's going to be difficult for me to get used to is that the indicator is on the opposite side and the like the windscreen wipers are on the opposite side. So I'm probably going to mess that up a few times while I'm driving it. I really like as well that they have this in standard, the boost gauge in standard. It's um, very JDM, something I'm not used to in my little Fabia. The dials are also the wrong way around to what I'm used to, but I think I kind of prefer it to be honest. So the only thing I would say that I really don't like about the interior of the S15 is that the rear seats are incredibly small. The, the seats are so comfortable, but there is just no room back there. Me coming from my five door Fabio with all the room, sitting in the back of that was so uncomfortable. The seats itself were comfortable, but when the driver is sat where they need to be sat and the passenger has enough foot room there is no space behind for any kind of passengers when i've had to sit in the back when elliot's had friends in the front and stuff it's just super uncomfortable and yeah not really what i would like but in a car like this it doesn't really matter something else which is really nice about this car is that it has two cup holders which is again something i'm not used to because i only have one Lots of nice little storage spaces and stuff, which I really, really like. The other thing that I don't like is the fact that reverse is sort of all the way over and down. 
it's like I mean I know I did it then but it's like most of the time I have to have two hands to do it because I'm really not that strong and it's quite tough to get it in okay so now I spent 15 minutes trying to mount the camera correctly I know it's gonna be my luck that I'm gonna drive off two feet and it's gonna fall off so this might take some time right so this isn't the first time that I've driven this car when Elliot picked it up I briefly drove it around a private car park and I've moved it around on the driveway a few times but I've never actually taken it on a public road so Now, with where I work and what I work as, I drive different cars every single day. Yeah, I have never been so nervous to drive a car. Oh God, the sun is really bad. Oh. I look like a pea with my bug even with my glasses on. Busiest junction, nice. Can't see a bloody thing. I thought that the clutch pedal was going to be quite tough, but actually, it's it's quite nice. A lot of like Japanese car, Japanese cars that I've driven, um, like a Nissan 370, the clutch was quite tough, and it sort of hurt your leg after a while. But this is completely different. I mean, I know they're like nine years apart, um, but. Yeah, they feel completely different. This feels a lot nicer. Whenever the steering wheel comes out. No, it only goes up and down. My main problem when I'm driving cars is that my legs are so long, but my arms aren't. So I have to sit quite far back so that my legs fit, but my arms are kind of just like, oh, stretching out to reach the steering wheel. Now, I have always wanted to own a Sylvia and I was so annoyed when Elliot got one before I did. But driving this now is making me want one so much more. It's making me really sad. Put my foot down, I'll put the windows down and see what it sounds like, which is 
thing that I really like about this car, considering this car is 20 years old, the heaters are amazing. Honestly, they get so warm so quickly and they stay warm and on a cold day like this, it's really, really nice. So the steering is quite heavy, but it's quite nice. It so like kind of makes you feel a little bit more solid on the road, which in something like this you really kind of need. So I'm coming up to a bit of a more open road now. There's a few cars around, so I'm gonna just put my foot down a little bit. Obviously sticking to the speed limits because the last thing I want to do is get pulled over when I'm driving my boyfriend's car. Fully insured, by the way. So I'm just gonna. Oh, I'm so scared of the back end. So scared. It sounds so good as well. I don't know if whether you can hear it from the camera, but it does sound so good. I, so I was saying, like, I literally just love how it sounds. Coming from my diesel, the only sound that I can make is an out sound, and my car doesn't even do that. My car is, is quiet. So, like, going to something like this. I just, I just love that it's got some sound to it. If you really listen, I don't know whether it, the camera will pick it up, but you can hear the flutter. Let's see if I can get it. There's a big lorry coming towards me, maybe not. Right, so yeah, I'll just see whether you can hear it. Only, only slightly, it's not super loud, but you, you can hear it. feel it feels like so twitchy so this is this is the first time i'm properly driving it as well so i feel like i haven't really got used to the car at all i probably should have taken it out but i wanted to get my first reactions to driving it on a public road so i'm going out i keep having to remember that the indicators on the other side i'm going to get back my fabio and i'm going to be doing it on the wrong side with flapping the wind the wipers around um so yeah i'm taking it out to a bit more of a country road I'm sure Elliot's not going to approve, but um, I can guarantee he's sat at home with five of my friends on watching where I'm going, thinking, no, don't go down that road, don't go down that road, but he knows exactly what I'm going to do on this, this road. I can't show you guys the road, but you should be able to see slightly, but it, it's, it's a nice road, but it's a bit of an open road now, so I'm just going to... It's... When it gets above three and a half revs, you can just feel the back end start to go. It's like you immediately have to change gear. And that's what's making me a little bit anxious. Okay, so I'm just coming up to the road now. Um, it's, I, I kind of, I don't like that it's scaring me because I had that little bit where the back end kind of threw itself out. It's really scaring me. And if it wasn't my boyfriend's car, considering this is his absolute prized possession, then I'd feel a lot better. But I feel like if I ruined this, our relationship is over. So, but. Oh my god. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. Oh my god. My Fabia is so slow compared to this. I just. I've driven fast cars, but this I just can't. See, it just goes switchy, like. I'm just shaking because I'm nervous. 
nervous. I didn't think that, oh my god, that I was gonna, like this car was gonna make me so scared. Like I've, driven, I've just driven like so many, so much stuff like that I would class as a fast car, but nothing sort of, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm kind of let loose with this car, whereas when I'm driving at work I have to be better. I'm a massive fan of Jap cars and I can't even explain to you like how long I've wanted to own a Jap car. An S14 to me is like incredible so to then be able to have an S15 on my driveway and drive that and drive it like it's just a bit insane to me like sort of like really relax and like drive it and just get a proper feel for it rather than talking to the camera and stuff and then I'm gonna come back on and sort of report if I found anything okay so after the last clip I got home and I was met by Elliot and a few friends and I immediately got chucked out um, and I wasn't able to end the video because Elliot was in a rush to go out so I'm gonna end it now under this really cute blue light um, and it's dark so I'm sorry all I have is this blue light I just wanted to say that I absolutely love this car. To anybody looking to buy an S15, then I would I would absolutely say go for it. It's an amazing car. You can really overlook the rubbish place where reverse is and the really small seats in the back because this car is amazing. I'm definitely gonna own a Silvia one day. Maybe not an S15, maybe probably an S14 um, as I really wanna get into drifting. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna have one. Probably a 9 out of 10 for this car. I'll have to find and see if I can get something that's actually a 10 out of 10. But yeah, 9 out of 10 for this car. Um, yeah, absolutely falling in love with it. Can't wait to own one. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I want to say a massive thank you to everybody for all the support that I've had since I've started up my channel. It's been going for a little bit over a month now. And the amount of support, nice comments, likes and... I'm almost at 5k subscribers that's just absolutely crazy so yeah everybody a massive massive thank you for that um, I am literally so grateful to everyone so yeah guys thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video